I pull the cab over to the side there, you see? And I stop it like this here, right? Open the door, get out of the cab. You forgot to close the door. <laughs> That's all right, don't worry, I'll take care of it. <laughs> so we, I look in the back and there she is on the floor, cold as a mackerel. So I hop into the cab, the back, see? And the first thing I notice is that she ain't breathing. That's because you're standing on her chest. <laughs> Shut up, you! So now, thinking quick, I start giving a mouth-to-mouth restitution there. Oh, Beverly LaSalle, is your husband home? Well, he's busy right now. I got your address from the hospital. Mr. Bunker saved my life this morning. Oh, you're the one! Well, come on in! Oh, well, uh, sit down. <laughs> Here, wait a minute, I'll give you a Here, well, how are you feeling now? Oh, much better now, thank you. The doctor said it was complete exhaustion. I've been working very hard, and I guess I was just worn out. Oh, well, it's a good thing you wore out with Archie. Because he learned how to save people's lives in the toilet at work. <laughs> oh, he saved mine in a cab. <laughs> It was foolish of me to work three shows a night for ten weeks straight without a night off. Are you in show business? Yes. I'm a female impersonator. <laughs> Ain't that interesting? You know that I mean, who can imitate a female better than a lady? I'm afraid you don't understand, Mrs. Bunker. I'm a transvestite. Well, you, you sure fooled me. I mean, you ain't got no accent at all. Here, this should cover it. Oh, well, wait a minute. The fare was only eight and a quarter. I can't break that oh, bill. Oh, all for you. I insist. Do you know that this is a 50? Yes. Wow. <laughs> okay. I never say no to a lady. <laughs> I was telling your wife, Mr. Bunker, I'm no lady. Ah. Oh. How you win this 50 is no business of mine. I will just say thank you, miss, uh, unless you girls like to be called miss. Why don't you call me mister? I'm terribly sorry to interrupt, but I forgot something. No, no, you didn't forget nothing. You paid me my whole fare and something else besides. You wouldn't be the one whose life he saved. Yes, I would. Well, I'm Jim Kitchener from the Long Island Press. Oh. Say, I'd like to get a shot of the two of you together. Oh, oh. Wait a minute. Before you start anything like that, I'd like to have a couple of words in private with this lady. If you don't mind, you don't mind, oh, do you? No, no, no. Just step right over here. Way over there. <laughs> what are you doing here? How did you find me? Well, I called your house. Your son-in-law said he'd be sure you were here. I'll kill him later. <laughs> but, you know, I'm opening tonight the new Pink Tiger... Theater and I wanted you and your wife to be my guests yeah. for the show. Yeah, all right. Well, very much obliged, but listen, while you're in here, for God's sakes, don't take off the hair. <laughs> I mean, not even for laughs. <laughs> because these guys in here, they ain't liberal thinkers. <laughs> you and me. You know what I mean? Yes, I think I do. Oh, <laughs> 